Dude! Alright, so you want to increase your clicks per second to left click faster in this block game, right? Right? Some of you have a mouse dedicated to clicking faster for Minecraft, but don't know why you aren't able to click fast. And some of you just have a random cheap gaming mouse or a musty crusty office mouse that's just holding you back. Well, I'm about to prove to you that no, no, you too can become a PvP god with any mouse and click fast on blockheads as much as you'd like. But just know that you'll have to be willing to listen to me until the very end, because not only will I provide you with information I wish I knew when mastering techniques to click fast on any mouse, but I also have a secret clicking trick that'll make clicking fast so much easier and so much more consistent for you. There are two main ways of clicking fast for Minecraft PvP, jitter clicking and butterfly clicking. I know I might sound cringe when I say this, but you should absolutely know that each of these techniques actually takes time and practice to get consistent. You just need to know the best way to practice, which is why I'm here to show you how you can get consistent with clicking fast as soon as you can. Each person is unique, so know both the pros and cons between butterfly clicking and jitter clicking, so you know which one is going to help you PvP the most. Butterfly clicking might be more useful on mice which can double click, which is registering two clicks for one tap, which can put your CPS up in the 20s and massively reduce your knockback. Even without double clicking though, after some practice, I found that it's pretty easy to get a consistent 10 CPS or more. I'll show you how. For jitter clicking, I found that I can have a consistent CPS for a longer period of time versus butterfly clicking, and I actually prefer this method since I'm using my entire forearm muscle versus butterfly clicking which only uses my hand muscle, so I'm able to last longer while PvPing when jitter clicking, right? It's like sex. I've practiced both methods over a period of months trying to master both techniques and I'm here to tell you really what I wish I knew when practicing. For butterfly clicking, it's basically flicking two fingers on one mouse button. I was already trying to flick my fingers as fast as I could, as hard as I could. No, 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 no. You want to slow down and practice the tempo first. The same amount of time on the mouse and off the mouse for each finger. You'll find that you can speed up comfortably over time and get the CPS you really deserve. Another piece of advice I wish I knew is not to grope your mouse with your thumb and pinky. Otherwise, you're constricting your finger muscles, which makes it harder to flex your fingers faster. Instead, aim with your palm so you can open up your hand and allow freer movement for your fingers to finger your mouse. Now, if your mouse can double click, you want to practice bouncing your finger to achieve this. You don't want to just loosen your finger and make a weak tap or get mad and tap it really hard, but you want to do a bit of both. Flex your finger hard to give momentum for your finger to go down, and then just relax your finger right before it touches the mouse button. This allows your finger to bounce, and something I wish I knew when learning how to butterfly click is that straightening your finger and really using your entire finger to bounce will increase your chances of bouncing it more consistently, and also having the last crease of your fingers on the edge of the button makes butterfly clicking so much more consistent. I can't really explain why, but just trust me, over experience, it, it just does. Jitter clicking is just basically flexing your forearm to the point where it starts vibrating and then starts transferring that vibration to your finger on the mouse button. This method kind of takes longer to learn, but in my opinion, it's worth it. A lot of people are scared to learn how to jitter click because they're afraid they'll kind of hurt their forearm, but I'm here to be honest with you guys right now. How you're going to prevent this is just not to tense up your forearm as hard as you can, right? You're not going to try to lug an axe to somebody's head yet. You seriously only need to tense it up just to the point where you can feel yourself start vibrating. And oh my god, I wish I knew this, but make sure your hand or arm isn't touching anything else and that only your fingers are touching your mouse. You're literally cutting off your vibrations. Make sure to adjust the height of your chair or table so your wrist isn't touching the desk. But that's it. Practice those techniques over time. You don't have to be the fastest and most consistent at first. I wasn't. And don't even take exclusive time out of your day. Just practice clicking. Like, where's your life at that point? No, just practice clicking while playing actual Minecraft PvP. It's better that way since you'll be subconsciously used to clicking fast in that PvP environment where you also have to think about other things. I love you guys, and please love me too, so you want to check out my other videos. I got tutorials and a little bit of funny gameplay of me just vibing and playing the video game. Like the video and subscribe for more useful no BS Minecraft PvP tutorials like these, and I'll see you in the next video.